too. This is a Volensec cover and I will show you how to load the film because that's not easy with this camera at all. You open the film back, pick up the film door, lift the uh, rewind nut, move the winding nut until it stops and cocks the shutter, move this knurled part of the take-up spool until the slit is up, and now you're almost ready. You need to cut this piece, about 18 sprockets long. So you can count it. Okay, so you put it in here and stretch it a little bit. Put it through a slot. Make sure it's flat. Take up some back, some of the film back. Yeah, pretty, try not to do that. You can cut it more narrow here. Mm -hmm. Now, they said this is not a simple task. But it's very important for the camera not to overlap the frames. Okay, I got too much film. You can even add it more, so it goes around here. Pretty much flat right now. So you can reinstall the back. And then free shutter. Three times fire the shutter. One. Now your father, your shutter is cocked and you're ready to take pictures. But before doing that, you need to move this counter, because it's not automatic for you, to number one. Okay, so now you're ready to take pictures. Once you fire the shutter and rewind it, the counter will advance to number two. And once you hit the end of the film, you want to rewind it, just move this counter, counter move it in a clockwise manner until it hits the R area. And then the clutch will be released right here and you will be able to rewind the whole film and then just open the back and remove the film. That is much easier than actually loading the film, and you have still no warranty that it won't overlap fra frames or that it actually advances the film, but it should do just fine based on my experience. Alright, thank you for watching.